it's Phoebe and today I'm in Coron. Nestled among the spectacular islands of Palawan here in the Philippines, Coron is a mesmerizing destination, famous for its pristine white sand beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and towering limestone cliffs. Now in this episode, we'll be exploring all of that and so much more as we visit this beautiful location to uncover some of the very best things to see, eat, and do. Let's go. It is my first full day in Quran, and I'm excited to see this place. I've seen a lot of photos of it and it looks beautiful. So I thought the best way to do it was just to get straight into it. So I got online and I booked a tour. Now, when I was looking at the tour list, there were a lot of them. There were a lot to choose from. I lost a couple of hours down a rabbit hole <laughs> comparing all the different tours. I was overwhelmed. In the end, I decided to book one called the Super Ultimate day tour. It just sounded super ultimate and I love a super ultimate day tour. It had everything that I kind of wanted to see in it. It had the most inclusions. It just looked like it was going to give me everything that I needed. So I thought I'll book it, I'll do it, and I'll let you know if it's the right one or if it's terrible. The tour company is picking me up from the hotel. The pickup window is a big one. It's from 7.30 to 8.30. <laughs> It's 6.50 in the morning now. I got up early so I could have some breakfast. So I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna wait in the lobby and we'll see what time they pick me up. Um, but check this out. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is the view from my hotel. I'm standing on the kind of deck thing in front of the pool. It is spectacular. This is the reason I booked this hotel and I'm already really glad that I did. I'll give you a full hotel tour and we can talk a little bit more about it and a little bit more about my thoughts on Quran a little bit later. But for right now, breakfast, insane one hour pick up window time and then super ultimate day tour. Let's go. So lunch is included in the tour, that's one of the reasons I booked this one. We've come to 91 Beach and they have these like individual little huts so we're out of the heat, we're over this clear, crystal, beautiful blue water in this little cove. Um, they've got all kinds of dietary requirements catered for, they've got chicken, fish, shrimps, salads, veggies and a mountain of rice. Um, I've got some fish, it looks like a mackerel to me. Um, let's just dig in and try some stuff. I'm, I'm really hungry, I had a very light breakfast. Fish is good. This isn't exciting watching me eat rice. I, I know this, but rice. <laughs> veggies. Veggies are good. <laughs> There's a lot of garlic on there. I will be honest with you, when this day first started, I wasn't feeling it. We went to this staging area and there were a lot of people in there. It was hot, we're in this little hut. It just didn't feel like it was gonna be an authentic experience. It felt like there's so many tourists here, how could this possibly be good? It's gotten underway and it's good. <laughs> the first stop was so beautiful and our tour guide, he said to us, there's gonna be a lot of people, so let me pull up somewhere else. And he pulled up at the right spot at the right time. So I was able to get in the water when there were fewer people. Um, and our second stop was at a coral garden, I believe. It, it was some of the best snorkeling I have ever done. The water's incredibly clear. There are so many different shapes and kinds and colors of fish and coral. These beautiful, gigantic clams. It is, it is, 
spectacular. I'm lost for words. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm having a really great time. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunnat ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side Oh why? Sätt ett ur rör på det får mig och dör för dig baby För de här jadis jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger all min tid och Jag vill ha dig, ha dig Du får mig tjäna safety Ni kan nog le dig baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig So half and look on an end. Come and I'll shine us a half and look on an end. But I go your back for day, I think it all we get copy on you. Yes, gonna go the box it did your own multi and no. That was amazing. That was amazing. I I've done a lot of snorkeling in my life. I've been to a lot of beautiful spots in Thailand and Mexico and I I don't think I've ever seen water like that before that was incredible when we were diving down it was like almost like seeing the inside of cathedral upside down underwater I don't know if that makes any sense <laughs> this whole thing is just blowing my mind I there are a lot of tourists around there are a lot of boats I think that's just the nature of the beast there's no real avoiding that um, if you didn't want to do a join-in tour like I'm doing you could absolutely book yourself a private tour I'll have a whole bunch of links in the video description for you so you have everything you need and a whole bunch of options and everything like that but I'm really enjoying this it's not even over yet <laughs> and the staff is so friendly everyone's so nice like making sure that you're like getting great videos and photos and stuff and I, I know that's not the point of travel but for me making these videos it's really important that I get that and they're all being so helpful making sure I get good stuff so I can make a really great video for you guys I don't know the whole experience is just it's just great. <laughs> I'm just really happy. I really love days like this, you know, being on a boat in and out of the water in the middle of nowhere. It's just one of my favorite ways to be. It's making me think ahead to my birthday and it's so far away, but I want to do something like this for my birthday. I want to be on a boat in the middle of nowhere in and out of the water. <laughs> Decirte que tú eres la luz, ma. Bésame antes que llegue la lluvia. Ve tu tormenta y ya pasó. Yo tu calma, aquí estoy yo. Sé que me esperaste. Todo el tiempo conmigo soñaste. En playa, me vi tú en la arena. Dime pa' cuándo será. Y sé que los shows de tequila no fallan. Y te pones sincera. Chris, what's doing? You can say something or you can just smile and wave. Hello, like and so subscribe. Oh my god! <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> For accommodation, I'm staying at the Sunlight Guest Hotel. It's located a short drive from the heart of town, right on the water's edge. And I'm really glad I chose it because I've been able to make the most of these amazing water views. The sunsets here are spectacular. Now in general, I feel like Karan hotels are a little rustic, but I found my room to be along the rustic theme, but it was quaint, clean and comfortable and the staff were super helpful. Now it's located right next to the port, which is perfect for anybody catching the ferry between Karan and El Nido. Just one thing to be aware of, there's some sort of loudspeaker karaoke, it, it sounds like a game show or something, I don't know. It goes on every night, um, I could hear it from my room, bring earplugs if you think it's going to bother you, it didn't bother me. I'll have a link below so you can book your stay and links to a whole bunch of other Koran hotels as well so you can find one that meets your needs. I'm gonna level with you. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Today really took it out of me. It really took it out of me. I'm extremely tired. Here's what happened. <laughs> I got back from a super ultimate day tour. Um, more on that in a second. I got back to my room and it just 
hit me. You guys know, you see, I travel a lot and sometimes it catches up with me. And today, <laughs> all the swimming, all the free diving, all the sun, just the whole thing just got me. And I got back to this room and I got into bed and I just like laid like a raw spaghetti. <laughs> Like, a, just a straight line in bed, just staring at my <laughs> phone. Enough about me, let's talk about Super Ultimate Day Tour. Was the Super Ultimate Day Tour Super Ultimate? It was Super Ultimate. It was excellent. I really liked that tour, and I think a big part of it had to do with um, the crew. They were so great that if you could have just seen how much work they put into helping me film today and get great photos. And I, the, that's not just because of me YouTubing. They were doing that for everybody. They just go above and beyond. And it wasn't that weird thing where they're doing it. And you, like, I get this in Indonesia sometimes when they help. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to pay that person extra. This didn't never, it just never felt like that. It was always just kindness of heart and generosity and just, hey, you're in our country. We want you to have an amazing time and come away from this with amazing photos and videos. Let us help you. What else can we do to make this an amazing experience for you? Um, I wrote down a couple of notes. Some things you need to know. <laughs> Some things you need to know. Number one, let's talk about what to, what to pack, what to do on that thing. Um, firstly, I had my swimsuit on. Um, sunscreen on I'm still sunburnt I'm badly sunburnt on my back that's because I'm solo traveling and I can't ask random strangers to put sunscreen on my back so I just <laughs> have to get severe sunburn on my back that's the reality of solo travel for you I don't travel with a beach towel I just don't have the luggage limit for it I didn't take a towel today I was totally fine if you have one take one I left all of my expensive cameras my wallet everything like all my cash everything in my bag, on the boat, while I went swimming, the staff sat there and watched it and they were like, we guarantee your stuff will be safe. And they were right, my stuff was safe. Um, you absolutely need to take a hat. They will give you cold water, but you might need to take some extra. You should take some cash with you because there are little shops where you can buy snacks and drinks and things along the way if you choose. <laughs> I hired a snorkel. If you have one, you can bring one. I didn't take special water shoes. I just wore my salt water sandals. I'll have a link to those below if you ever want a really great pair of sandals that are waterproof and amazing and look amazing with everything. They're my go-to. One of my travel essentials. Um, but they had the offer to hire proper water shoes. I didn't. I just went barefoot or wore my salt water sandals and it was totally fine. An underwater camera, if you have one, I've started using the Insta360 X3, obsessed with it. That's where all the underwater footage that you've seen this video, this episode so far came from. Love that thing. Um, make sure you take that. Just a couple of other Quran tips for you while we're at this juncture. <laughs> I'm real formal tonight. I'm all business, if you haven't noticed. It's just because I'm so tired. Okay, tip. This is my Quran notes. It's a, don't look too closely. Don't screenshot that or anything. Quran notes. All right. Um, no need to pre-organize an airport transfer. No. Um, my hotel has an airport transfer service. I requested it. They did nothing with that information. <laughs> they were like, you'll figure it out. And they were right. Um, I just walked out of the airport and I was like, hey, I'm going to Sunlight Hotel. <laughs> and some guy was like, 250 pesos, I'll take you there. And I was like, done. That's dirt cheap. I also had to pay 200 pesos when I arrived at the airport as an environmental charge. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> as an environmental charge. Make sure you have cash. You'll need to pay. You just need cash in the Philippines. You'll need to pay that environmental charge. You'll need to pay your driver. Um, and I think that's 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 all my tips so far. I'll report back when I have more, <laughs> because right now I really need to sleep. And tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna get back out there. We're gonna get back out there and find more of the best things to do in Quran. Actually, there's no we about it. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna sit on the couch, <laughs> wherever you are, watching this on your phone, and have a relaxing five seconds. <laughs> it's gonna take to get from tonight to tomorrow for you. Meantime. <laughs> I'm going to back up all the files. I'm going to get myself to sleep. I'm going to wake up in the morning, eat my breakfast, get ready, and then it is on. Okay. Okay.
Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side och why Sättet du rör på det får mig och dör för det baby För de här jag det ser Good morning you guys It is a beautiful day here in Quran And today I'm taking off another bucket list item for myself We're going scuba diving <laughs> And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, this is really embarrassing, so just, I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna look at you while I say it. Just forget I said it. I really liked watching The Little Mermaid as a kid, and I want to be a part of that world. <laughs> I've done two scuba dives in the past, but they were like assisted ones on the Great Barrier Reef, and they're like literally holding your hand. This, today, I'm gonna learn how to be independent. I'm gonna probably scuba dive, which is just, just something I've always wanted to do in my life and I'm not putting it off any longer. That's the whole point of travel. That's the whole point of this whole journey I'm on. Just get out there and do the things you really want to do. So, Reggae Dive Center. That's where we're at this morning. Um, I booked this to Kluk. I will have a link below for you so you can click through, book it out, check out all of the amazing things there are here to do in Quran. Um, but right now, now I need to go inside, fill out my paperwork, get all kitted up and then learn to scuba dive. I'm so excited. <laughs> Now you guys, I just have to let you know, I had a huge travel fail. <laughs> I'm very, very embarrassed to admit it, but I shot some of the best underwater scuba footage of my entire life, and I think I deleted it. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere on my hard drive. I don't know if I deleted it or I backed it up, and then I wrote over the top of it. I don't know what I did. I cannot for the life of me find it. I just want to apologize because it was awesome and I wish I had it but I'm silly and I don't know what I did with it and I don't so I'm so sorry this section was meant to be a lot longer and a lot better when I first went underneath the water I just felt a little bit nervous <laughs> I think there was a moment when my head first went under and I just felt like oh, I can't get a breath in I can't breathe I can't breathe and I was like wait calm slow down you can breathe there's plenty of oxygen you, you literally have a entire tank of oxygen strapped to your body right now and I think that's what I like so much about it it forces you to slow down you know I'm a person that as you know kind of exists a little more anxiously and I, I breathe very shallow and I I don't know my mind races everything goes so quick but when you're scuba diving everything slows down and it's so still and so quiet and so beautiful it was amazing the instructor took me to a really shallow spot we were there for a little while while I practiced all my skills and showed him that I could do everything and that I was confident and calm and I asked him at one point I was like hey like how am I doing am I doing okay and he was like you are so comfortable under the water and I really agree with him did you ever do something and think why wasn't I doing this all along or almost like it feels like you've been doing it forever like do you ever just do something that comes so naturally to you it just fits that's how I feel about scuba diving I feel like I've unlocked a whole new level of life for me I'm about to access a whole new level of existence that I didn't even know existed it was the whole experience was amazing. We're, we're not done yet, let me say that much. We're not done yet, we've got more to go. But that first dive was amazing. I'm just, sorry, you're just gonna have to forgive what's going on here. <laughs> I don't think anyone looks sexy after scuba diving, but this goggle mark and this hair is just, let's just accept that for what it is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get my open water certification. That's not what this is today. Today is like a beginner one, so you don't you don't need to have any skills, any experience at all whatsoever. You can be starting from absolute zero and come out here and have the experience that you're seeing me have today, which is amazing. Um, and just get a sense for it before you invest the time and the money and getting open water certified, which is, I think that's on the card to me. You know, I, I was down there and I was just thinking, 
how how lucky am I? How blessed? Like how amazing is my life that it, like it's Tuesday and I'm down here scuba diving off the coast of the Philippines. Like what? How is that? It's just the most amazing thing. And sometimes I just have these moments and these experiences, and I just think, what? What is my life? It is so incredible. I'm so thankful for it. So yeah, T today was one of those days where it really hit me. Just yeah, just how good it is. Sound grateful I am. Yeah. Porque tú haces el puyo y nos toca mi casa porque no pueden la suya. Baby, esa cama está mojada de esa lluvia. Le meto el only, pero estudia. Yeah. Baby, me lo vacilo, pero me esta canción. Que tengo una once y buen sexo y reggaeton. Uy, que no está chimba, deja mal sabor. Pero ese It is time for dinner. <laughs> and after all that scuba diving, we were extremely hungry. So I asked the scuba diver guys, where's a great place to get a fat burger? Because I needed a carb. And he was like, come to Pacifica. So come to Pacifica. Um, but I'm not alone. This is my scuba diving friend, Nikki. Hi, guys. <laughs> She's also a travel girl. Yeah, I'm a on travel a travel girl grind. And I can't contain my hunger, but already slightly eating. <laughs> okay, how are the chips? Really good. <laughs> Look at this fat burger, guys. It's actually crazy. It's the fattest of burgers. This is the thing. We were joking about it. Like, let's get a fat burger. Let's get a fat burger. And it's I don't know if you can see the size of the bloody things. Like, I don't know what to compare it to. It's like. <laughs> I got the fish burger. It had a vegetarian, but it was like not available. And the fish is like a grilled fish millet, which I like. I don't like when it's bad. I got the Pacifico burger. What is that? Uh, oh, me? there's so much in it. And I just... <laughs> we needed a revival food after the dive. I didn't know diving made you that hungry. <laughs> With a coke. Oh. Oh. I love the <laughs> lobster coke. With These guys know I'm always <laughs> nicking down the coke. So good. Yum. One really important thing I've been doing on my time in the Philippines, both here and in Bohol, is choosing hotels that are right on the water. And it is meant every day I get to watch the sunset, and the sunsets in the Philippines are unmissable. I feel like that's one thing I've done really well. <laughs> Both the hotels I chose, the one in Bohol and the one here in Coron, they've been out of town a little bit, but that's meant I've gotten that water view. I think if I stayed in the town centre here in Coron, I probably wouldn't have had this. I might have gotten lucky and found a hotel, but I just don't think I would have had what I've had here. So whether you stay at this hotel or you stay at another one, doesn't matter. I'll have a few links below for you, a whole bunch of different options that you might like to check out. But either way, Whatever you decide, my advice to you is get something on the water. Um, so a few thoughts on Caron while I enjoy my <laughs> dirty can of Diet Coke. Caron has been very different to Bohol for me. This is my first time coming here and I, I kind of just thought it would be very similar to Bohol. But in a weird way, I found Bohol to be more laid back, a little more open, a little more spacious in a sense. Coming here to Koran, it feels a lot more like Bali to me. Like I feel like I'm in downtown, when I'm in the town center, I feel like I'm in parts of Kuta or Seminyak or Chenggu, places like that. It's got a much more Bali feel to it. Um, I felt like, yeah, the streets are smaller, there's a lot more packed in, there's a lot more people. 
it just feels a little more rough around the edges. Not a bad thing, I've absolutely loved it. Just was different to what I was expecting. I thought Boho would be the smaller place and Coron would be the much bigger place, but in a weird way, Boho felt more spacious and Coron has felt a lot more condensed. I've really enjoyed my time here. It is stunningly beautiful. And there are a lot of other tourists here, but I mean, it's beautiful, I get it. I'm a tourist, I'm here, and I'm here because it's beautiful, so it's a little unavoidable. So do prepare to like see quite a few other people, but don't let that put you off because I have ab absolutely loved it. Um, even though my hair is doubled in size, <laughs> I feel like each day I look worse and worse <laughs> as the sun and salt ravage my mind, body, and soul <laughs> in the best way possible. Um, but yeah, I have had a really, really nice time here. And if you've ever thought about visiting the Philippines, make sure you put Koran on your travel wish list. Make sure you come here because um, it's absolutely unmissable. Now I'm going to try and get a good night's sleep tonight because I have to get up really early. I am catching the ferry from Koron to El Nido. That ferry departs at 7. You have to be there an hour before. That puts us at 6. I've got to get my butt there. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a really early start for me to get there. And I've heard El Nido is really, really beautiful as well. I've never been. I'm so excited to see it. And with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. And say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. <laughs> Love you.